okay so this is the to-do list that i came up with and maybe it will take me around six to seven hours to complete all of it but i will do all of it no matter what because i have my exams very soon and this chapter is not in my exams but still i have to complete it as soon as possible and so yeah let's start and let's see if we can complete this six hour study challenge and to be very honest it's a seven hour study challenge because all of this will take me more than six hours so yeah let's see if we can complete this seven hour study challenge So it is currently 11.36 and I will start studying for two hours straight. Let's start. So I do not study for seven hours every single day because to be very honest, it is not possible for me to do it. And it is not even needed to study for seven hours when you are a 10th grader. But I just felt like doing it today and spoiled it a lot. It worked. To be, you know, at the end of the day, I was just feeling like I have achieved a lot. And that feeling was really good. So uh, right now, I am doing surface area and volume from NCRT. I have completed it from Arasa Gawal. So now I have moved to NCRT and I have completed my whole syllabus of the first unit test so now i'll just revise everything and after that i'll start off with some new chapters but uh, for this week and next week and next to next week i'll just be revising everything so it is currently 1:39, and i am done with my first study session so right now i'll just go downstairs take a shower and then i'll come back yeah. So it is currently um, 3.25 and I'll start with my second study session and right now I am going to place a timer of 1 hour and then I'll take a 10 minutes break and then again 1 hour. So yeah, let's start. So I had thought that I have my first unit test from 8th July but it is actually from 10th July and I have completed the whole syllabus of my first unit test and a few other topics as well and I intend on completing my whole syllabus by the end of September and please do let me know in the comments below like how much syllabus you have completed and when do you intend on completing your whole syllabus and how many hours do you study in a day or do you just not count the hours like me. So if I talk about my syllabus, I have completed uh, from social science, I've done resources and development, power sharing, the rise of nationalism in Europe, development, federalism and forest and wildlife resources. From maths, it's real numbers, polynomials, linear equations and two variables and surface area and volume. From science, it is chemical reactions and equations, light, control and coordination, life processes, electricity and acid bases and salts. From English, it is tense, speech, the thief's story, triumph of surgery, fire and ice, dust of snow, uh, Nelson Mandela, a letter to God, a tiger in the zoo. From uh, Hindi, it is Bade Bhai Sahab, Harihar Kaka, Kabir Ki Sakhi, Meera Ke Pad and Diary Ka Ek Panna. So yeah, that's all I have completed and I think if I, you know, if I'm consistent enough, I'll be able to complete the whole thing by the end of September. So yeah, let's see. We can do it. has ended and it is currently 654 and right now i think i desperately need a long break so i will take a break of 35 minutes because otherwise i'll be so burnt out that i won't be able to study anything and i'll just sleep on my desk so yeah i'll just take a break now and then i'll come back
so if you talk about the guide books that i have used um, i have used s chand for science and rs agarwal for maths like that's it i don't use any guide books for social science so um to be very honest s chand was not really recommended by my brother because it has a lot of unnecessary information and to be very honest it's true it does have a lot of information which is not at all needed for your board exams but uh, on the other hand it has some really good questions which are really you know which can be really helpful for your practice so yeah i really have mixed opinions about this book and if we talk about rs agarwal it is a pretty good book definitely recommend it and i think everyone practices it so yeah which books do you practice or you don't practice any books other than ncrt uh, so you let me know in the it comments for currently uh, 10:34 and just 70 minutes left so i had set a timer of like 1 hour 20 minutes so today i studied for like 7 hours and it just feels like a really big achievement because as you see i didn't even have to pull an all nighter and you know it just feels so good to be so productive and i don't know i just feel so 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 good right now i feel like matlab i just i don't know i just feel really blessed at this point i don't know i just feel so good and the best part is i have completed all my tasks Oh my god this just feels so satisfying to do so yes guys thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you in my next video and yeah bye